When Captain Ibrahim Traore took charge of Burkina Faso, he promised to keep the country safe and prepare it for good civilian rule in 2024. However, the people of Burkina Faso are very happy with the leadership of Captain Ibrahim Traore and the return of civilian rule is very unlikely, even though Ibrahim Traore promised to give the power back to civilian rule in 2024. In this video, I will show you how Ouagadougou, the capital city of Burkina Faso, has massively transformed ever since Captain Ibrahim Traore took charge of the country. Burkina Faso is a country that is very rich in uranium and gold, and because of this, terror groups have been invading the country, causing instability. According to Captain Ibrahim Traore, he always wondered why there was perennial existence of these terror groups no matter how hard they fought until he came to realize that these terror groups were always funded and supported by their former colonialists who took advantage of their minerals as the people of Burkina Faso were busy fighting these terror groups. The country is now much safer and more peaceful and this is reflected in the capital city. People are generally happy with what's happening in their country now and there is hope for a better tomorrow for the descendants of the land of Thomas Sankara. If it is not for the insurgency groups that disrupted their lives from time to time, the Bukinabe people are very polite and peaceful people. They are also very kind and welcoming people. As a tourist or a new person in these streets of Ouagadougou, you will not be worried about any security concerns. The people in this city are also very hardworking, both men and women, and now that they have regained control of their resources and their country, we hope that their hard work will be rewarded. For a long time, a bigger part of the population was relying on aid from France, but ever since the anti-France agenda steamed up in the country, France decided to cut aid to Burkina Faso, to which Captain Ibrahim Traoré said, France has been giving aid to Burkina Faso since independence, but the people are still poor. So the solution is not aid. The solution is that the people of Burkina Faso must take control of their country and their natural resources that France has been exploiting for ages in exchange of aid. With very large reserves of uranium and gold that are yet to be exploited and being one of the leading gold mining countries, there is a brighter future for the people of Burkina Faso if these resources are well managed through good and accountable leadership. This city will be one of the most developed cities in the continent competing with Johannesburg, Cairo, Nairobi and other developed cities in the continent. The presence of mining companies and several ongoing exploration of mineral resources indicate the importance of mining industries in Burkina Faso. This mineral-rich country has attracted foreign investments and is generating a lot of revenue through exports.
Captain Ibrahim Traore has taken the initiative to improve the business environment and attract direct foreign investments through legal and regulatory reforms that have enhanced transparency and governance. The entrepreneurship sector is booming in Burkina Faso with many startups and small businesses coming up. Its abundant sunlight throughout the year and wind patterns have attracted renewable energy projects, particularly solar and wind power, as Captain Ibrahim Traore said during the Russia-Africa summit. Before he took power, there was a lot of electricity shortages in the country, but now the country is becoming stable and reliable in terms of electricity supply. There has always been notable improvement in the infrastructural sector with new roads being tarmacked and old ones being renovated. With the economy of Burkina Faso expected to improve, the Burkinabe people smell hope in the air. They believe that time has come when they must change their lives. For a long time, they have been suffering, yet their country is one of the richest in terms of mineral resources in the continent. They believe that their new leader will create good partnerships where there are mutual interests, not the parasitic one that has existed for ages and that has caused them so much agony. You stayed until the end of this video you are very much appreciated thank you for watching be sure to like share and subscribe as i bring you more information on the african continent people and culture